Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be experimenting with magnetic pigments in resin. But first I wanted to show you guys what the pigments look like. I got these off Etsy from Jet Age Studio. Um, that's the seller on Etsy. So you can buy the pigments. They come in this, there's three colors and they come in this little container and you can get buy the magnet, purchase the magnet wand, which is what I'm using here. But check it out, see? you can just kind of hold the magnet over the pigment and get different designs. They're really fun, um, but they are kind of expensive. I'll link them down below if you guys want to check them out. So the resin I'm going to be using today is the ClearCast 7050 resin from the Epoxy Resin Store. And you have to pour in two layers for these pigments to work properly. So I went ahead and mixed up my resin off camera. The ClearCast 7050 is a 2 to 1 ratio resin. And the first layer I'm just going to be using this Ebony Black Pigment and Galactic Glitter from Primal Flow Paint. I'm just mixing it up here and this is at double speed so I wasn't really mixing you know that quickly it was sped up to double speed and I'm just pouring about um, two ounces in my molds here these molds are from Dryer Days Art Studio and they're about four ounces total so what I'm going to do is just let this dry for 24 hours hit it with my heat gun to pop any bubbles and then tomorrow we'll come back and add the magnetic pigments. So again, I'm using the ClearCast 7050 resin. I mix it up off camera. It's a two to one ratio resin. I'm pouring about two ounces of clear into my cups here and I'm gonna do about a pea size amount in each of my cups. I actually mixed up three cups of this um, because I needed a little bit more than what I had mixed up here, but it's a really pretty color shifting pigment. Check it out. And this is also sped up to double speed, so it looks like I'm stirring really fast. So with the magnetic pigments, you have to work on something that's magnetic. So I am working on a cookie sheet, and it's raised up off of my table here on um, spray paint can lids. So it's nice and level, and that way I can kind of stick my hand under on the back of the cookie sheet and attach magnets to get the design that I want. And this was my first time ever working with these pigments. So this was just a test, an experiment basically to see how they work. And you can see here, see how it's kind of getting black in those sections on the right there and then on the bottom left of the coaster on the left. I had already had magnets attached to the back of this cookie sheet. So that's what you're seeing is just the pigment kind of being pushed to the side. And now I'm going in with my heat gun here and kind of just popping the bubbles. And what I'm going to do is go in with some magnets. Um, I got them off Amazon. I'll link them down below in the description if you want to check them out. They're about the size of a nickel, I would say. And I'm just going in on the back here and adding a bunch of magnets. Just to see what will happen, how you can get the pigments to move around. And you have to leave the magnets there while the resin is drying um, and setting up. You have to leave them there the whole time. And then, um, you know, once it's dry the next day, then you can obviously remove the pigments. But um, the magnets have to stay in place for this to work. So you, if you don't like the design, what I'm doing here is just going in with the popsicle stick, kind of swirling it around. And that's just basically like erasing what's there. And you can move the magnets to get kind of a look you're looking for. Um, I was just going to going in to see what these pigments would do. So basically I just got a bunch of circles, kind of like a wormhole effect, which I thought was kind of cool. So I'm definitely gonna be experimenting with these pigments more. Um, like I said, this was just a test so I could see what they'll do, how they'll work, and kind of just mess around with them to see what kind of designs you'll get but see if you're unhappy just kind of go in and just erase everything like this move your magnets around and then it will change the look of how your coasters will turn out so it's 24 hours later I let them dry check it out look at how fun see how it's like a nice color shifting pigment and like i said you want to do these over a dark background that really makes them pop and that galactic glitter is so pretty from primal flow paint but look at 
I was like, whoa, that's so wild. Um, next time I might just use my favorite round um, coaster molds and just do one right in the center just to see, you know, how cool that turns out. But yeah, I'll bring you guys in for a close up and some better lighting so you can get a better idea. So this is what they look like outside in um, natural sunlight. See, they're really more of like a purple look. And then inside, they look more black and blue, which is kind of cool. So it just depends on what type of lighting, you know, they're in, how they're going to look. But I think it's just a really fun, kind of different way to use your resin. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. And you can see that fun sparkle that's under there from the galactic glitter. So really you could use either side as up or down. And this is what they look like inside. See how they're more like black and blue, which is cool. Which side do you guys like better? The purple one or or which lighting do you like better, the purple lighting or the black and blue lighting? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you liked it, and if you did, go ahead and leave me a like, or another thing that would help me out is if you go check out a few more of my other videos or even a playlist. Um, I will link my coaster making playlist down below in the description. Go check that out. And I'll also link all the products and materials I use down in the, de the description and any coupon codes that I might have. I hope you guys are all doing good. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys on Wednesday for another video. Thanks again for watching. Bye guys.